Mobilizing for war, the United States enters World War II. The cause, why did the United States finally officially enter World War II? It's because Japan attacks the United States at Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941. After that, one day later, December 8th, 1941, the United States declares war on Japan. There were some effects that came from declaring war and entering this war straight on. First effect was daily life. One of those effects dealt with the vocabulary you have, rationing. What rationing was, and you should already know this from the vocabulary matrix, is distributing goods to consumers in fixed amounts. All Americans at that time had ration books, which contained stamps that had to be exchanged as well as cash to purchase certain goods like meat, sugar, wheat, coffee, shoes, canned fruit, gasoline, and anything else that was needed to support the war. Other things that you may not have known were used for the war effort were metal, was once used to make zippers and typewriters before the war, was now being used to make ammunition. Rubber was used to make tires for army trucks, and nylon was used to make parachutes for the army. Americans were also encouraged to create victory gardens to grow their own vegetables and to help ration food. They were also encouraged to buy war bonds to help finance the war. Lastly, the passage of the executive order, 9066, said that all Americans of Japanese ancestry, this means citizens, young, old, rich, poor, were sent to internment centers for their protection from distrustful Americans. Okay, so they were basically just taken out of their homes, they had to sell their businesses or just give them up and move into these camps where they could be monitored pretty much 24-7. A difference that should go noticed is that German and Italian Americans who were living in America at the time were not placed in internment camps. So why were Japanese Americans placed in these camps when Germany and Italian Americans were not placed in them. Germany and Italy were also enemies of the United States, just like Japan. So that's something that I want you to think about. Why do you think that is? Next one you have is military. Congress ended up passing the Selective Training and Service Act, requiring all males between 21 and 36 to register for military service, also known as the draft. More than 300,000 Mexican Americans served in the military. More than 25,000 Native Americans served in the military. Out of those 25,000, 400 Navajos serve as code talkers. Code talkers were those who would translate messages that had been written in the Navajo language that would go from area to area between allies so that the enemy, like Japan or Germany, could not figure out what we were saying. It was a code that they had never broken. Also, more than one million African Americans served in the military. Now when I say served in the military, I mean in mostly supporting roles, cooks, assistants. By the end of the war though, they were able to see more combat and become a little bit more equal. Around 350,000 women also served in the military as secretaries, mechanics, photographers, nurses, and drives.
Lastly, we have the economy. Entering World War II did a lot for the United States economy. First thing that happened is the War Productions Board was created. It was set up to convert peacetime industries into wartime industries. Now an example of that would be Ford Motor Company. They quit producing cars, which is what you know Ford to do today, and they converted to making tanks. So the example of the peacetime industry again would be cars, the wartime would be tanks. Henry Kaiser introduces a new way to create ships. Instead of 200 days per ship, it only took 40 days to make one ship. That is significantly less. They were able to make a lot more. They were known as Liberty Ships and allowed the U.S. to quickly rebuild its Navy after the attacks on Pearl Harbor. The last effect for the economy in World War II was unemployment. The Great Depression had just occurred in the 1930s and it had gotten up to just above 20% of unemployment. During World War II, it falls to about 1% after 12 million Americans are employed producing products for war. Because of that 12 million Americans having jobs again, the Great Depression was finally over.